Long, long ago, the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam settled his wife Hajar and baby Ismail alayhi salam in a lonely valley in Arabia. Thanks to the miracle of Zamzam Spring, some people began to live there. Slowly, it became a small city, which later came to be known as Mecca. Ismail alayhi salam grew up a strong and loving youth. The Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam were ordered by Allah to build the house of God, the Kaaba in Mecca. They took stones from the nearby hills and started to work. For this sacred land, Ibrahim alayhi salam prayed, My Lord, make this land secure and provide its people with fruits, such of them as believe in Allah and the last day. As the prophets Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam laid the very first stones on which the Kaaba would stand, they prayed, Our Lord, accept this from us. You are the all-hearing, the all-seeing. They further prayed, Our Lord, make us bow to you and make our offspring a nation which bows to you and show us the ways of our worship. They also prayed for a prophet to be born in their family who would teach wisdom to the people and purify their faith. Their prayer was answered many years later when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was born to the people who came after them. The Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was ordered by Allah to clean the Kaaba to those who came there to pray and to call people to Hajj. Allah spoke thus to the Prophet Ibrahim, Call all people to make the pilgrimage. They shall come to you on foot and on the backs of swift camels. They shall come from every deep ravine. And so, Allah made it a duty for all Muslims, male and female, to go on Hajj once in a lifetime, provided their means and health permitted. Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam. Today, over 20 million people from around the world gather in Mecca to perform this sacred duty. The moral of the story is that believers will promise Allah to follow the example set by the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam and his family, doing Allah's bidding, whatever it may be, basing their lives on truth and, if necessary, giving up life's comforts and pleasures. Allah will be their focus, a goal from which they will never be turned aside by the forces of evil.